Okay, here we go. We're on to uh, video two, and this is a Michelover Golf Club. So here we are. Uh, there's car park. There's the first tee. If this is the first video that you've seen, um, this is a triangle, and what I've done for the first few videos is a 18 handicapper, average 18 handicapper, average distance that they tend to hit. Um, and that is about 215 yards. So, and what they we've found, or people have found, is that on average, a tour pro will hit their drives about 65 into 50, 65 yard kind of dispersion. So, if the middle of here was their target then they would hit it kind of 30 odd yards left, 30 odd yards right. If they hit 100 balls, 1,000 balls, this would be where the, the balls would tend to land. So what we're saying is that let's just let's just say that you're about as straight as, as a tour pro, considering that if this line carried on, it would be a lot wider um, if the line's carrying on so let's just say 65 yards um, wide what we're looking for is that for none of the triangle to land in a hazard uh, be touching out of bounds or be touching a really difficult spot um, that uh, is hard to, to score from and um, so all we're going to do today is just talk about the uh, drives and a little bit about the second shot, but mainly the drives. So you might may spot that sometimes I move the 220 yard triangle slightly forward, and that's because uh, it's a it's either downhill or it, this the first is uphill and then downhill, so you tend to get a little bit more run out, and um, so that's why it's a little bit further further down. Okay, so let's go for it. One thing we can say about Micklover is that uh, patience is required because it is tight. A uh, lot of tree line fairways, a lot of very, very small greens. So this is aimed at an 18 handicapper shooting you know, under, under their handicap. What you tend to find with 18 handicappers is that they don't play pants for 18 holes. They play very, very good golf for nine pretty okay for four or five and then they throw in the, an eight a nine or a ten and it ruins the day um, and that's why you, your 18 handicappers they like the staplefords but they don't like medals because that one round that one bad hole um, really ruins the score so it's about being having a conservative strategy so that you take off the tens off your scorecard Sometimes it means you're not going for birdies, but you're taking bogeys, especially on the tough holes, and moving on, rather than going for a birdie on a hole where, you, where a par would be a very good score for your handicap. So it definitely requires some patience. Let's go through it. The first, you can see here that a good portion here, and a good portion, if you did it right, is going to get into trouble really. Bear in mind a bogey is a good score and it's the first first hole of the day. I would recommend it, it just to be kind of a 160, 170 yard shot. It's still fairly tight which is why you've got to take, take um, a shorter club and then you've got a decision to make. I don't think there's anything wrong with just laying up slightly short here and chipping on. I mean if you hit uh, a hybrid off the tee to here for an over 18 handicapper. We're saying that an average, if you hit it 220 with your driver, you're going to hit it about 135 with the seven. So you've only got downhill, you've only got 126. It is a tricky, tricky uh, type flag. So you make your choice there. If it's running, it's dry. You can go for the green in two, but there's nothing wrong with just hitting it top of the hill, short of this bunker, and chipping on. You're going to be on the green nine times out of ten if you take that strategy, and you never know, you could chip it, chip it close if the flag's at the front.
I'm going to leave the par threes because this is mainly about uh, driving. Uh, this is the competition pot on the third. 220 yards, slightly downhill. I think this is is a fairly tough shot, really. Um, and it's another one where it's an easy one just to lay up. If you only hit a shot that goes to there, what distance is that? 170 yards. One short of the bunker and on. That, that would be my strategy um, for that one. You might say that, well, that triangle's not really touching danger. You, you're right there. Most 8 handicaps are going to slice it. It's just quite a tough shot from down there into a very, very tight pin with everything uh, going in towards that bunker with the slope. So it's just one where if you just play it safe off the off the tee, 170, short the green. Again, how many times are you going to hit the green in three? Loads. Okay, four. This is where it, it gets it starts to get a bit more interesting. And really, you do need patience if you're going to be shooting under your handicap if, if you only hit it this far off the tee. Because the fourth hole, that is death. That is death. So we're taking off 20% there, 20% there with a ditch and trees. So you've only kind of got a 60% chance hitting the fairway. And then you've still got, if you do hit the perfect drive, you've got, you have to take it on. You've got 120 yards through a six yard gap. Now, how many 18 handicappers can, hand on their heart, say they can hit 130 yards and pitch in a six yard gap? No one. But if you rip a drive right down to, right down into this area, you're going to find it tough. To not take it on. Why take the risk? Hit it into this bigger area where the ditches are on to play. Play it short into this area here, where there's quite uh, a wide area to hit into, and then chip it on. Again, it is the easiest five in the world on a very tough hole. Uh, okay, look how tight this this is. Used to be a par four, now a par five. It's only 30 yards wide. So if you are an 18 handicapper and you think, gosh, I only hit the, the fairway half the time, 50% of the time, well, that's about right because it's flipping hard. So just choose a club. This It's a hard one to, to, to swallow here, but kind of three wood into this area, play it. Use your shots. Look how tight this hole is. Use your shots onto the green in four. And a six is, is nothing nothing bad there. On to seven. This is downhill. And I, I would say it depends where the wind's going. Because we're right on the border. We're right on the border of um, carrying the ditch. So again... It's probably the easiest five in the whole wide world. If you're 18 handicap, definitely if you're over 18 handicap, it's the easiest three pointer in the world. If you just lay up, hit into this massive area and then chip onto the green. If you can hit it 230, 240, then you have to hit driver and then and it's an easy, easy pick up hole where you can maybe get a, a three or four pointer. Moving on, eight. You can see the pattern here. Some really tight, tight fairways. For me, again, you could lay up, hit it 180 off the tee, hybrid off the tee, or five wood. Then how far have you got? You've got, you've got from there 140. I think that's pretty tough with another guarded green I would be laying up and chipping on remember if you bogey every single hole 
And I'm not suggesting that we bogey every single hole, but if we, because we can still one putt. But we're going to take off the doubles. The doubles are going to come when you are scared about this on the seventh. You're scared about this ditch. You take a driver, you put a bad swing in it, and you stick it in there. That's the way you lose your ball. You're back on the tee. There is your doubles. So it's it, it's annoying. If you can hit it further, you've got more options. Um, on to number nine. They've added an out of bounds down the left here. So I do think it's driver, but if I've lined all these triangles up here in the centre of the fairway, it just starts to creep in that out of bounds. So all I would do is aim down the right hand side of this fairway. If it goes in the trees and you, you, you lane up, if you hit a good shot, you, you can go for it. One of my favourite holes, and, and so unfair for people who don't hit the ball a far distance, because this is a really tough hole. Look at the size of this fairway. 17 yards wide, and you have to carry all of it. There's actually no, no chance, or very slim chance, or you, you're rolling dice. Now, if you're a long hitter, it's one of the easiest holes on the course because you just smack your drive straight over the trees to here and chip on. But if you're not fortunate enough to do that, then it has to be another one of those horrible words I hate to say, but it's a layup. Hit it to the corner, round the corner, and on the green. Back over to 11. Simple one, you have to smack a driver. There's no real danger other than the trees, so you've got to smack driver. Okay, nice one on 12. Now what I've done is aimed this on this hole. I've actually aimed it where I recommend you aim, which if I point that, this is the uh, side of the rough, and this is the deep rough. You can see that to, in order for the triangle to not hit the outer bounds I've had to aim at the right rough edge of the right rough so that should be your target when you play this hole and then yeah you might occasionally stick a few in, in, into here but and you might occasionally stick it but it's a tough hole then it's to the corner then it's a layup I think for the mere mortals who are hitting it 220 off the tee that shot there is just a stretch too far to do consistently and again it's uphill tough shot there's all that danger you've got to go over so considering that why not just hit it to here hybrid to the corner 100 or 7 iron to the corner even and then lay up you definitely need some patience um, around this golf course so the big one there is just don't do not aim down the centre of the fairway because if you aim down the centre of the fairway, which is here, then kind of 33 yards is well, well into this bush, and, and that's the out of bounds. So we don't need to be touching that. Just for your, just for you, your knowledge that the out of bounds is the worst place can be because obviously you you lose the ball. You go back to the the T and uh, out about uh, the water hazards are nearly as bad but not as bad because you can take your drop up nearer to uh, the hole of the hole so avoid out of bounds like the plague here we have the 14th very interesting hole if you're a long hitter it's we look forward to these these holes but if you're a 220 yard player it is a nightmare again we've got a 20 near the green 25 yard 20 yard fairway the best of times you're only going to hit it 25 yard fairway 25 percent of the time 30 percent of the time there's a lot of danger i'm afraid you know what i'm going to say it's a layup but we can still hit the green in two. If you lay it up and hit the flipping thing, 
only 170 yards, slightly downhill. We've only got 60 yard pitch in. But you still see people with 18 handicap trying to hit that green in one or trying to get up towards this bunker. There's no need. 15. Downhill, smack a drive, there's no danger. 16. Now you can see here, I've put the, there's the green. There's, I've moved the, this to the back of the tee box because this is um, uphill. And if I go in, in, just to prove it again, that's 220. It's a tough hole, this one, and I would just say that it's just covering out and the outer bounds, and it and it's also starting to go behind this tree. So we've got this this area, which means we're blocked out. We've got this that is is flirting with the outer bounds on the other side. So I would say that it's a great opportunity for a layup. Can you see how much wider this area is with a layup? then one over the ditch it's only 125 yards to carry the ditch and then play that one as a three shotter again finally let's go to 18 here's the 18th tee there's the green so yeah, tough one this. Um, I would say that if you are only hitting it this far with your driver, anywhere there is is death. It does kick round. We have got some trees over this side, so that is almost forty-five percent, which is is the worst place in the world to be because you definitely want to be on this side. I would say that for the majority of players, 18 handicap, it's top of the hill. If you're lucky, you get a roller. This is your target if you, with a shorter club. Only hit it 160, then to the here, and then on the green. Um, and there's a lot of layups there. The reason for that on this course is it is so tight. A lot of the fairways... A 20 25 yards. I grew up on Mitlover, it keeps you straight, um, but it, it's it's difficult to really get your driver out, and it can be frustrating if you're not playing um, lots of other courses where you can, you can get out and smack your driver. So use the shots that you've got, and this strategy will keep the sixes and the sevens and the eights and the nines off the scorecard and um, you definitely need patience okay hope you enjoyed the video if you want to give us a, a like and a subscribe that'd be great feel free to comment if you think I'm completely wrong if you would like me to have a look at uh, different distances if you don't hit it that far or if you hit it a lot further maybe uh, a single figure how a single figure who it's at 250 uh, should play that course and let me know if any other courses you'd like me to do next or any tricky holes and um, um, just get in touch thanks a lot